tell your expectations a little bit. The warmer temperatures are a week from today, but we are going to get there eventually. Today was nice and mild out there. We made it into the 40s to around 50 degrees, but the next several days following today, temperatures are going to get cooler and cooler and cooler. This is Saturday with high temperatures only in the low 30s, and then we'll start the rebound Sunday, Monday, and then around this time next week, we have 50s in the forecast, and maybe, maybe we can do even better than that, which we'll talk more about in just a little bit. Got to share this beautiful photo. I'm going to step out so you can look at it. This is from Michael Beck in East Haddam. Star Trails, what you're actually looking at is a long exposure photo that shows how the stars move in the night sky due to the Earth's rotation. So really cool shot. Thanks for sharing it with us. We love seeing all of your photos. Satellite and radar quiet. It's like crickets almost all across the country. There is nothing for us to really track here moving forward. And for so many that have been very weather weary, it's a nice break. Temperatures tonight in the upper 20s to right around 30 degrees. So we're not going to see the temperatures really tumble all that much tonight. And then heading through the day tomorrow, again, we're knocking about 10 degrees off the high temperature from where we were today, but it's tough to complain. It's still going to be a pretty nice day out there with highs in the upper 30s to right around 40 degrees, a little bit cooler in Torrington in the mid 30s. One thing I did want to show you uh, with on some of our higher resolution guidance that we're seeing just here for northwestern Connecticut with the push of some cooler air, there might be a couple of flurries as we head towards daybreak tomorrow. But again, that would be the exception. Otherwise, it's partly to mostly sunny as we head through the day tomorrow. And we should be, at least most of the state should be clear as we head towards sunrise heading into Friday morning. Of course, there's this big stripe of clouds here. We got to get rid of it. The reason why is because we have a triple conjunction. Saturn, Mercury, and Jupiter are all going to be close in the night sky. This is before sunrise on Friday. You, if you want to see it, you have to look in the east southeast sky. It's going to be fairly low in the horizon. These planets were not drawn to scale here. You're not going to be able to see the rings, but you should be able to see a two or three bright dots. Mercury might require some binoculars, but a pretty cool sight nonetheless if you're able to check that out. Heading through your Friday, mostly sunny skies with high temperatures in the low to mid 30s. Again, we cool off before we're able to warm up, but this is what we're thinking Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even Friday of next week. We get this big ridge of high pressure to build in, and again, temperatures could be 10 to 20 degrees above average plus maybe even more than that. Here's your seven day forecast. So heading into this upcoming weekend. Yeah, it's going to be chilly, but it's not cloudy and dreary and drizzly like last weekend was. So hey, we'll take what we can get, especially considering we can get snow and ice and nasty weather this time of year. So highs in the low to mid 30s Saturday and Sunday. We're back in the 40s on Monday, mid 50s on Tuesday, mid to upper 50s on Wednesday, and we might be able to see temperatures approach the 60 degree mark either Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday of next week. So we'll keep you posted on that. Either way, if you have some vacation days to burn, might be a nice time to start thinking about using those. Your shoreline seven day mid to upper 30s heading into this upcoming weekend. Meteorologist Dan Amaranti and Mascot will keep you posted tomorrow morning on any updates, guys.